What can a ray tracer do, you ask? Allow me to demonstrate. It can render this sphere. I mean, there's really nothing special about it. It's just a single plain white sphere. But look at this. You can change its color. You can make it look glossy or less glossy. You can deform it by squashing it flat this way or that. You can narrow it into a cigar shape and spin it around. You can add more spheres. You can put them on a plane stretching away to infinity. Then you can texture the plane with stripes or rings or checkers. You can make the plane a mirror. In fact, why not make the balls themselves mirrors? Or steel? Or turn them all into cubes and start them spinning. Then stop them and peek inside a cube. Now watch as the cube lengthens and becomes a room. Cylindrical pillars sprout from the floor and become columns supporting the ceiling. Conical tables appear, featuring teapots and other odds and ends composed of tiny triangles. And there, in the middle of the room, is another cube. Using constructive solid geometry, intersect it with a sphere to round the corners. Drill a hole through it by subtracting a cylinder. Do it again, and again, and... Wait, what's that inside the cube? Is that a book? Yes, it is. It's the book that will teach you to work all this magic, test by test, with code you write yourself in whatever language you choose. It's the Ray Tracer Challenge by Jameis Buck. Pick up your copy today and start writing a 3D renderer of your